know, she was at work. He uh, call, called, said he had had a seizure. He had called 911. That's about all I really know until what I heard on the news as well of what happened. According to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, David Dingler was found unresponsive at about 8 o'clock Tuesday night. David had a head injury and red welts on his legs and stomach. Rescue personnel revived David and took him to UF Health Jacksonville. When David's father, Jason, got the call, he was in shock. I was a little scared for myself. I mean, it's not something a parent must have. Not something they want to hear at 6 a.m. in the morning. The mother, Ashley Dingler, was not home at the time of the incident, but 30-year-old Daniel Smith was. Smith was held on $1 million bond on charges of aggravated child abuse one day after David was taken to the hospital. According to the arrest report, David's six-year-old brother told the Department of Children and Families Smith got mad at David because he kept falling asleep in the tub, and then Daniel started beating him with a belt. David has severe lacerations across his stomach and legs, and police say that the head injury is consistent with a fall or being hit with a heavy object. David was in such bad condition, a tube had to be placed down his throat to help him breathe. He was just fun. He liked to play. Uh, I don't know. He just, he was a normal three-year-old. Yeah. Now I don't think he's realized everything that's happened. Uh, but he's, he's doing good. He's, he's just fine. Uh, I can't leave the side. Smith has several prior arrests, including two for domestic battery, one for lewd consensual battery on a minor and burglary. Smith is also on the Florida Registry of Sex Offenders. His arraignment is set for February 24th. Ashley's attorney gave us this statement in part. Understandably, Miss Dingler is very upset and concerned for the welfare of her child, as any mother would be. Miss Dingler is a victim as well. She was working at the time of this horrible incident. She had never witnessed any prior abuse of her children by Daniel Smith and had no knowledge of Daniel Smith's criminal history. I would ask the community to give Miss Dingler the respect a mother deserves during such a difficult time and allow justice to take its course.